Yes, that's how you're doing. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, today, boys and girls, I'm going to bring you guys the Leicester versus Crystal Palace match preview and predicted lineup. So, Leicester returned back to league action then this weekend following Thursday night's frustrating result once again, where we could have, we should have really got the win and got the advantage heading into the second leg next week in Holland. However, before that, we return back to Premier League action on Sunday. Back at the King Power. It's match day 29 of the Premier League season as Leicester welcome high flying Crystal Palace to the King Power Stadium. Both sides are on pretty good form right now, separated by just one place in the Premier League table. And it's all set for a very close and competitive game tomorrow at the King Power, with both sides looking to secure all three points in the Premier League. Looking at Leicester's opponents then for tomorrow's game, then in a bit more detail, of course, it is. Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace. They currently sit ninth place in the Premier League table. And last time out for the Eagles, they picked up a very impressive 3 0 victory at home against Arsenal. So, with that being said, I'm about throwing it, boys and girls. Let's get straight into today's video. Let's go split Leicester, the City, and Crystal Palace. And let's get straight into today's match preview. Let's go. So, as always, kicking things off, then my general thoughts ahead of tomorrow's game, then back at the King Power. Now, firstly, I will be at tomorrow's game. Obviously, I should have gone on Thursday, but, you know, I had to be ill on the date of the game. Typical. I didn't really miss much as it was a nil-nil. But, yeah, I will be at the game tomorrow. So, hopefully, that means we can win. But, yeah, overall, though, I'm expecting a very difficult game. Obviously, Palace right now on some great form. Fantastic players in the side. And I think tomorrow's game, considering we only played a few days ago on Thursday... It's going to be a tough one for Leicester tomorrow, boys. Palace have got some fantastic players in the likes of Conor Gallagher, obviously Wilfred Zaha, Jordan Ayew, Mateta, etc. And defensively as well, they're looking very strong. We've got, we'll have a bit more on Palace with a Crystal Palace fan on the channel later on in today's video. But yeah, Palace right now this season have been looking a very decent side. And for Leicester, despite our, you know, recent good form, etc. We have been turning things around a little bit. We haven't actually won in a few weeks now. So picking up a few draws against United, against PSV. So hopefully on Sunday we can turn things around and finally pick up three points back in the Premier League. However though, with his second leg just on Thursday, I think that game is going to have a massive influence, especially on the team which Rodgers goes with to start against Palace tomorrow at the King Power. And in recent weeks, we've seen Palace beat Arsenal, take points off Man City, get to the FA Cup semi-finals as well. It's going to it's going to be a tough game, boys. But overall, lads, despite Crystal Palace being on some fantastic form, despite Leicester probably going to make some changes, I'm still fairly confident that Leicester can have a, a solid game tomorrow, go up against that Palace side and look to try and win the game because I think the three points is de definitely there for the grab and obviously Crystal Palace only one place forwards in the league table a win, a win for Leicester would take us above Palace into ninth place you know if Leicester want to end this season well these are the type of games we need to be winning at home at the King Power and right now we have a pretty good record at the King Power as well haven't lost there in a number of months which you know is a big surprise hopefully that can continue in tomorrow's game and hopefully we can come away with at least a point in my opinion but yeah lads of course we'll find out what happens in tomorrow's game at the King Power so as as always, I'm going to hand it straight to you guys in the comment section down below. How are you guys feeling ahead of tomorrow's game? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Moving things on then, boys and girls. Let's look at some stats there between Leicester and Palace ahead of tomorrow's clash in the Premier League. So Leicester are unbeaten in their last five Premier League games against Crystal Palace, winning three and drawing two, having lost each of their previous four against the Eagles before this. Leicester City have picked up 10 points in their last five Premier League games, winning three, drawing one and losing one. One more than in their previous. 10 matches in the competition winning two drawing three and losing five and finally Crystal Palace have won their last two away league game matches beating Watford and Wolves having won just one of their first 12 away games this season drawing six and losing five the Eagles have last won three in a row in April May 2019 under Roy Hodgson. So you're going to boys and girls, there are some interesting stats then for you guys between Palace and Leicester then ahead of tomorrow's game. Leicester had a decent record against the Eagles. Palace searching for the first away league win three times in a row since 2019. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah, as always, moving things on then, let's jump into the Brendan Rodgers press conference then and see what Brendan had to say on Friday ahead of the game at Seagrave. So first see Brendan Rodgers then speaking on Jimmy Vardy. Vardy won't be back. He's got final injection on Tuesday. Tuesday and we'll see what the reaction is to that. We're hoping we get positive news on that. Soon she will come back into the squad. Apart from that, it's the same squad again as Thursday night. And Leicester City boss Brennan Rodgers confirms changes will be made for Sunday's visit of Crystal Palace. He says he's having to manage minutes for defenders returning 
from long-term injuries. This month alone, we've got eight games. The same team won't play in every single game. And finally, Brendan Rodgers speaking on Crystal Palace. Rodgers says, I've really enjoyed watching them. The team want to play. They play with calmness. In the Arsenal game, they're excellent. Good result against Arsenal or not. This was always going to be a tough game. So, going to boys and girls, there are the main headlines then from Brennan Rogers' pre match press conference. Still no Jimmy Vardy, but Kagel Sung Chu will return it back to the side. And there are the main headlines ahead of the game, of course. So, we've seen changes, like I said earlier on in today's video. Moving things on then, boys and girls, it's now time to look at our opponents then in a bit more detail in Crystal Palace. This week on the channel, we've got Tristan in front of the channel, Tristan 03, a Crystal Palace content creator and vlogger. He's in the corner of the channel today and quickly talk to you guys about Crystal Palace and how they're looking ahead of the game and, and basically all things about Crystal Palace and everything you and me need to know. So yeah, big thanks Tristan for coming on the channel today. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to his channel. Link will be in the description down below. So yeah, Tristan mate, take it away. Thank you Josh for having me on your channel. Pleasure as always. Um, I'm really looking forward for tomorrow's game. I think it's going to be a big one. Listen, I'm going to go with a 2-1 win to Crystal Palace. My lineup prediction it's the same lineup that started against Arsenal in goal for Sente Gaita, back four of Mitchell, Gay, Anderson, and right back the final climb. Three midfielders of Schlup, Gallagher, and Kiare, and the front three of Ayu, Mateta, and Mr. Wilfred Saha. He had a brilliant game against Arsenal, and he'll cause you a lot of problems, as he, as he always does, really. If you know, I mean, he has scored a few decent goals against you in the past, as um, some of our other players as well. So, listen, I'm really, I really cannot wait. Um, uh, it's going to be a close one. I think if we show up and show passion and desire and compete and hit you lot from the get-go, we'll give you a good game. If we score first, I'm confident of a win. If we go behind, you know, it's never... I mean, every every time we've lost or not got on anything in your stadium, it's always from us falling behind and having a poor, just sloppy start and just getting mullered by you lot and that, like we have done in the past. You know, we've had some poor defeats there and that, but some good results as well. So, we have a 50-50 record going into this game at the King Power Stadium. But, listen, man, it's going to have goals in it as it always has between Palace and Leicester. It's going to be very competitive. Listen, we're on some really good form. Four wins out of five. No goals conceded in our last four as well, I believe. So, listen, I'm not expecting... I'm, I'm expecting a good, hard-working, committed and solid performance, especially with us going into the semi-final against Chelsea next weekend, who are currently beating Southampton to 4 0 right now so yeah honestly i'm just really looking forward to it i cannot wait um i think that players like harvey barnes and madison obviously vardy ain't playing i don't think he's available anyway but players like I mean, madison and Ian natural especially they're going to cause us a lot of problems tomorrow so we are aware of that and i hope the players are up and ready for it as well it's going to be a hard one it's going to be a tough one it's going to be a good battle i cannot wait i'm of course going there hope to catch you before or after the game josh as well come on you palace man and yeah, it's gonna be a close one. I'm not. Excited. I just want to win, man. I wanna. I just don't want to lose. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll be disappointed if we lose and don't score. But I'm really looking forward to it, man. Come on, you Palace. See you there. So lads, moving things on. Then it's now time to jump straight into my predicted lineup. Then ahead of Sunday's visit of Crystal Palace to the King Power. Of course, this is a side I think Brennan Rodgers will go to start against the Eagles on Sunday. So as always, I'll be sticking with the 4-3-3 formation for the game in goal. Of course, we'll be going with Casper Schmeichel. Pretty standard that is. In, into the back four then. At right back, we'll be going with James Justin to start there. Of course, Ricardo played around 60 minutes against PSV. So I think Justin will make a start in the game against Crystal Palace. Centre up partnership. We'll be going with Wesley Fofana and Kagala Sunchu. I think Johnny Evans will, will get a slight rest and Sunchu will come in. It could potentially be Sunchu and Amati and Fofana will get a rest as well. But I personally would, would like to see Fofana keep playing because he's just too, he's just too good. So yeah, Fofana and Sunchu at centre-backs. And at left-back, we'll be going with Luke Thomas to come back into the side as he is now fully fit, return back from a slight injury when playing for the England under-21s. Moving ahead then into the midfield three, we'll be going with Papi Mendy in the holding role, of course. Wasn't involved on Thursday as he isn't in the European squad, which is a bit strange in my opinion. But yeah, of course, last game in the league was eight days ago, I believe. So, so Mendy is going to be fully fit. So yeah, Mendy in the holding role. One, one number eight for me this time. We'll be going with Kieran Dusbrough. Obviously, Dusbrough did play the full 90 against PSV, but you know, he's young, he's fresh. I, I think he'll be all right to, to start the game. He might come off, yeah. Dusbrough then to start in, in the holding number eight role. More advanced then will be going with James Madison. No Yuri Tillemans for me. I think Tillemans will get a rest and will be... Will be dropped, I guess, for the game. So, yeah, Madison a bit more advanced then in the number 10 role, just in behind the striker. Moving ahead then into the midfield three, then on the left hand side, we'll be going with Harvey Barnes to start. A disappointing performance by Harvey on Thursday, but I think Harvey needs to get back, and this game could definitely suit Barnes up against a player in the final client. I think Barnes could definitely have the pace in them. So, yeah, Barnes on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we'll be going with Adi Mo Lutman. I 
hope he starts, to be honest. He does deserve a start. So, yeah, Luckman on the right side. And up, up top, we'll be going with Patson Dacca to start. I think Ian Atcho will get a rest. Of course, Vardy is still at injured. So, yeah, for me, Patson Dacca will lead the line tomorrow. Very attacking, a very pacey strike force. But I think that is going to be the best way to approach this game against Crystal Palace. So, wrapping things up then, boys and girls. Score predictions then ahead of tomorrow's game. As always, let me know your score prediction in the comment section down below. I'm going to go... With a draw, I mean, it's not positive, but I'm going to be realistic here. I'm going to go with a Leicester 1, Crystal Palace 1. I can just see it after I'm telling you now. So, yeah, Leicester goal scorer, James Madison will score. And for Crystal Palace, we'll be going with Jordan I to score a goal as well. So, yeah, 1-1 one, one tomorrow. It really could be a way. If it was going to go one way, of course, Leicester will win. So, yeah, 2-1 to Leicester. But overall, I'm going to stick with a 1-1 one, one draw tomorrow. I think that wouldn't be the worst of results. So, the boys and girls, that's it for today's video. Of course, in today's video, I bring you guys the Leicester versus Crystal Palace match preview and predicts lineup for tomorrow's game at the King Power Stadium. Of course, the vlogs will be back tomorrow. So hopefully, we can secure the W and that on Boys and Girls. If you have enjoyed today's video, lads, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe as well to the channel if you guys haven't already. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Any up towards that will, will be massively appreciated. Let me know your thoughts, of course, of, ahead of tomorrow's game in the comment section down below. Your predictions, your lineups, all that type of stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, Boys and Girls. And yeah, I'm in sports, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Peace, guys. Hey.